Hey YouTube, this is Apostle Stacy Woods and you are watching Dimensions of Stacy and I am here tonight. I have two videos to make but the first one I'm going to just go on and get straight to it. This is my weekly review of the show The Sisterhood and I'll be reviewing episode 3. Uh, so as you guys know it aired on tonight and tonight is Tuesday night which is a good night because Wednesday night is Bible study night for me anyway. Uh, some people have it on Thursday, but some people even have it on Tuesday, but anyway. Um, as I always do, I keep like a running dialogue going while the show is airing with my people on Facebook and on um, commercial breaks will comment, you know, so. I do have my notes that I have taken from um, the show that aired on tonight. And here we go. Again, disclaimer. These are my comments, my two cents, just watching the show along with everyone else, okay? Now, um, first of all, um, this episode started off with Pastor Brian um, and Pastor Tara. This show was really a lot, had a lot to do with them. A lot of the focus was on them. And um, he was offering like a peace offering to... Um, the other folks, you know, as they came to the house, they had a gathering at their house, and at the gathering, they were going to uh, make this big announcement that they wanted everybody to kind of be in with them on and celebrate along with them. And it was also kind of like their, you know, olive branch to kind of say, hey, you know, sorry we got off on the wrong foot, but want to invite you guys out to the house. And I don't know if, like, in their contract, they have to have a certain number of meetings or a certain number of events that they have to do together. I'm not sure how that goes because it kind of felt as though they really didn't want them over there. I really didn't want too much to do with them from like the first airing of the show. And so now, you know, they're all coming over. So it's kind of like interesting. But anyway, moving right along. Everybody was pretty cool, you know which is good. You know, you can have your disagreements and the topics that you don't quite see eye to eye on, but you know, you kind of, how you doing? You know, you still greet one another with love. You're supposed to anyway as Christians, right? So they start doing this, although um, one of the, uh, I think Christine, Christina, I'm still getting these names together, she um, kind of was like, well, you know, I'm going to keep my eye on this because this is going to get interesting if it's over there. And Pastor um, Brian and um, and Pastor Tyler's house. So anyway, moving right along, they make this announcement. Pastor Brian and Pastor Tyler make this announcement that they are going to be launching their TV ministry, their television ministry. So um, instead of pastoring, they're going to do TV ministry. Okay, which is interesting because that. It costs a lot of money. So, anyway, moving right along. Um, Dominique jumps right in and she's like, cool, you know, if you're doing TV ministry, you know, I have a boutique. Hey, how about I dress you? You come by the shop and I'll, I'll dress you, you know, for this event. So, I thought that was really nice of her. I thought that was really cool for her to offer that, you know, being that they didn't really see eye to eye right away. So, I thought that was a cool move that she did. All right, and Dominique, let's just be real. Dominique is always on point on this show. And we're going to get back to that a little bit later. But Dominique, hair is always together. Makeup, uh, most of the time, you know, I, you know, everybody has their personal choices. But Dominique is always dressed. Always. Well, she has a boutique, so. You know, one thing I found out about, um, about fashion and like dressing. If you like to dress, you're going to find a way to be fashionable. You're going to find a way to dress whether or not you are um, remixing stuff that's already in your closet or whatever. If you have fashion sense, you just got fashion sense. So Dominique, she just got it. Alright, moving right along. Pastor Delena. I really like Pastor Delena. As soon as Pastor Brian and Pastor Tyra made the announcement, Pastor Delana was like, you know, I see God's favor, see God's blessing. She, I like Pastor Delana. She's the truth. I like her. All right. 
Now, um, in Dominique's shop, Lady Dominique, she also has um, this other pastor's wife, Miss Moraine, who she says is the first lady. And together, she and uh, Dominique dress Pastor Tyra for the television shooting. And they're kind of asking her basic questions like, what time is the taping going to air? And what time is your actual taping? And what are you going to talk about? Like, what's the format of the show? And all of these questions, she's just kind of like blank. She's just kind of like, well, I'm going to get my Bible and get my word together and show up and get ready. And they're kind of trying to prepare her for the fact that uh, it kind of takes a little bit more than that to host a television show. But she's not really understanding where they're coming from. She's kind of looking like a deer in the headlights almost like, I thought I'd just show up. So anyway, they're trying to prep her, trying to make sure she's TV ready. So they start pulling things from the rack, things that they are recommending that she tries on. Nothing that they pull she really likes. Because she's kind of like, I'm a fitness person and I work out. And, you know, although I am a pastor and a woman of God, you know, I won't, I don't want to look frumpy. I don't want my clothes to be, you know, whatever. So that was interesting to me that a lot of her clothing choices were very clingy and um, the dress that she ended up picking which was an orange dress beautiful color but you know sitting at a table and I'm not sure if she prepared for any of that sitting at a table with a dress that is above the knee already standing so when you sit down you know it's gonna crawl I'm not sure that was the best choice to pick if you're going on television to do ministry but then again, I don't really think she thought about all of that. I don't think she thought all of that through. Anyway, um, cause Pastor, um, I'm sorry, Lady Dominique, she had like a lot of cute little things. I mean, she's always on point, you know. And she was kind of just like turning up her nose and everything she pulled. So anyway, moving right along. I don't know what's up with the clothes, but yeah. It's almost like Pastor Tyra does not have, unless they just severely edit everything she says, it's almost like she doesn't have an outside view. You ever heard the, sta the saying, we're in the world, but we're not of the world? It's almost like she doesn't realize that she lives in the world because her viewpoint is just so somewhere else. And... I wouldn't say that that's super spiritual or even super carnal. I'm just going to say that she's just different. She just seems to think on a different perspective. Y'all help me out with that. Because, I mean, I'm really trying to understand where everybody's coming from, you know. I believe that she's sincerely herself. I think she really is being herself. But, you know, yeah. We come. We all come from di different backgrounds, and so her reality might be exactly what she is projecting. You know, although for a lot of us, we kind of like, girl, do you live on earth? I mean, seriously, no disrespect intended. Um, so like, she comes out of the dressing room and like just randomly brings up a topic about, and of course, I'm sure it wasn't random. I'm sure they were already talking about things that actually led up to this because we know editing is involved. But anyway, the show chose to air this segment, this well, this, this, this part of the conversation where uh, she and um, Miss, um, what's her name, 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 Lorraine, Miss Lorraine, were, she, Dominique, and Miss Lorraine were talking about porn, and she started saying, you know, about pornography and about um, her actually advising this wife not to be with her husband if he engages in pornography and this kind of got weird real quick. And so Dominique was kind of like, well, what you going to do when your son um, want to explore? And she was like, oh, no, not my son, because I already teach them about that. And it's like, um, do you understand that even though you teach the word and set on the word in your house, your precious little babies are going to make their decisions to do what they want to do until they get a godly conviction about stuff? But it was almost like she was like just totally somewhere else, 
you know, like that just wasn't going to ever happen. So I pray that she's not in for a rude awakening, you know. I do pray that her, her sons are, are, are perfect, really, I mean, because she's going to be really disappointed. And I don't think realistically she's expecting them to be perfect, but it's almost like, yeah. And I still haven't forgotten about that whole word that she got about him being the first Jewish black president. And if that's the standard that you're holding these children to, that's... Oof. Okay, so we're moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Now, we get to Miss Dominique. Miss Dominique is, is starting to worry me. Because it's almost like she's not sure what, about what she wants to do with her marriage. And that is um, an issue of concern, period, you know, because her husband seems to love her and stuff, but it's like she's dealing with some inner things going on. She's already revealed that she has this dark side that nobody knows about. She's already revealed that, you know, she's had a past in which she was involved, like, in prostitution and drug abuse and, you know, there's some other things going on, too, though. You know, and I, I, I'm, I'm pulling for Dominique. I really, I really want her to conquer all of that because she really seems like a good person. You know, she really kind of strikes me as this is just who I am and take it or leave it. You know, and I, anyway. So, um, also, I have mad respect for Pastor Delana, and I love the cardboard testimony idea. They had like a little brief thing. She really wasn't in this episode a whole lot. But there was a little brief scene when all of the ladies got together with her. And they had like some street evangelism, which is like really, really, really cool. Because you'll oftentimes find that churches that are of a large size, size they're always being critiqued for not doing outreach or reaching out into the community. But this church was actually like doing outreach, you know. And they had like cardboard signs. And on one side they will say I used to be a I don't know name it whatever you used to, I used to be a liar and then on the flip side they will say but Jesus changed my life or I came into the knowledge of the truth you know something real eye catching and they were standing on the highway with these signs kind of like a mini testimony of who they used to be so all the ladies went with her to do that and I thought that was real cool also real brave because it's like you're standing on the interstate telling about what you used to be and, you know, now that I think about it, it kind of goes along with the message I preached Sunday about the X generation, you know, what you used to be. Anyway, so um, that was really cool. And I'm really liking Pastor Delana. She really seems very sincere. She seems like she's the truth. She really does. She, 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 um, even though the show hadn't really done a whole lot with her, though, you know, but what she, the witness that she's portraying to me seems to be really, really solid. So I'm liking her. Okay. Now. Moving right along. We kind of go to the part of the um, episode where Pastor Dominique is actually in the pawn shop. And again, she is fabulous. I mean, nail polish, dress, shoes, bag, hair, makeup, all A+. Plus. However, she's like pawning her wedding ring. Yeah. I I start feeling kind of, some kind of way about that. Like really sad for her, really. Because her and her husband, she and her husband are going through some financial troubles. And she's been, you know, upfront about that. She also kind of made the comment that, um, she's used to people that go out and get what they need. And her husband, to her liking, wasn't really doing that. So she felt like she had to kind of step in and do what she had to do because she desires for her kids to go to a better school, you know, to a school where they will excel academically. And so, you know, she was saying as far as, you know, where they were financially, they weren't just, they just weren't pulling enough in. And so she felt like she was doing what she had to do, which in this case, she felt like she was going to have to pawn her wedding band. So I think she pawned them for like $3,000. And it was really sweet how the lady at the pawn shop kind of encouraged her and let her know 
you know, better days are coming. She was like, you know, I'm going to hold on to that. But outside of the pawn shop, she was in tears. And I was about to be in tears with her because that's not easy. You know, pawn shops are not guaranteed. Your stuff might be gone by the time you get back, you know. That's kind of like the risk you take. And she was like, these wedding rings are a symbol of my hopes and my dreams and everything that people like me should not have been, you know. I guess people with her past, you know, actually settling down and marrying a pastor and having a life. But even in that life, she's not happy. And that happiness is like she's together I mean you know if you were to look at her walking down the street you would be like she's together but on the inside there are some there are some serious things going on and I'm praying you know I'm praying that she pulls through it I really am because I know a lot of people like that yeah yeah all right so we're moving right along Pastor Ivy and her husband I think his name is Mark Pastor Mark Oh, they're interesting to me. But um anyway, Pastor is it Pastor Ivy? I think it's Lady Ivy. Um, yeah. I don't know if she's co pastor or first lady, but anyway, um Ivy and her husband, Pastor Mark, are talking about some health issues. She thinks that she may have some complications which may prevent her from having more children with endometriosis and um, maybe having to get a hysterectomy earlier and it's a really scary time for she and her husband so her mom is going to come and stay with her during the procedure and during the recovery and her husband is kind of like well that means we can't do wrong folk stuff I mean he just I don't know if they're editing him like that but every time he opens up his mouth it's like something that they should should have just kept between the two of them I don't, I don't understand him. I guess they haven't really shown him a lot. I'm just not comfortable with hearing my pastor talk about stuff like that with the first lady. I don't, I don't want to know. Okay, so we're moving on. So, let me know in the comment section. Do you think it was a good idea for Dominique, Lady Dominique, to pawn her wedding rings without her husband's knowledge? Because I don't think her husband knows that she's done this. Even though she did it to try to get her, her girls into a better school, I, I think she wants to get them into, um, you know, something private where they can have a better chance at education. Would you think that was a good idea? Let me know how you feel about it in the comment section. Um, okay, so then at the end of the show, we have Pastor Tyra and Pastor Brian, and they're kind of like sitting there going back and forth because remember the show opened with them making a big announcement about them having a new television ministry. Well, it's almost like they haven't really brainstormed a whole lot or they didn't show it a lot, their brainstorming process because, okay, it's like they have two concepts. Pastor Brian wants to get up and just preach, you know, behind the pulpit, Bible, traditional ministry, um, preaching ministry. Whereas it seems as though Pastor Tara kind of wanted to sit down and talk about different topics as husband and wife and maybe even have different people on from time to time. So they have like a different concept. So like Pastor Brian just kind of says, well, I was hoping that we could, I could just do this by myself because I really need to preach. I was kind of like leaving her out of the equation. But then like when we came back, Pastor Tara is in the car on her way to the studio by herself. So it's almost like her husband kind of just dropped out of it or either she went without him because she was like, she was calling like Dominique saying, look, um, Pastor Brian um, backed out of doing the taping, so can you like meet me at the studio, I guess, for moral support? But then once she gets there, when she gets there, you know, she's talking to the guy and she's like, hey, I'm here by myself. And he was like, okay, that's different. You know, because normally you will have support. Um, so two of the ladies show up, and then Dominique shows up. Now, Dominique, who needs this money right now, actually closed her shop on a Friday, which is like second to Saturday, one of the biggest retail days. So she closed her shop to provide some, I guess, moral support for Tara. 
that her husband couldn't make the taping and they're all there I think everybody is there but Pastor Delana I don't think Pastor Delana was there I don't recall her being there if I missed it just you know let me know but they're all there you know um one of them looks as though she's like TV ready but another one is kind of like casual of course Dominique is always together and then you know um Pastor Tyra comes out and she kind of lets them know that, hey, I had you here for more support, but also, I kind of wanted you guys to be on the show to give me the first lady's perspective about some stuff. So they gather around the table, and then she just starts kind of going in, and not on this episode, but on the, like, sneak peek into what's going to take place next week. She kind of really has some interesting to, things to say about her marriage which do you think she should have done that TV taping without her husband since they were supposed to originally do this together and do you think she should have discussed her marriage like that on the first taping let me know in the comment section anyway so things are getting interesting with the sisterhood yeah, they're getting interesting and I think that's about all the notes that I wrote um, the sisters and I that were discussing this you know we kind of threw back different ideas back and forth about what could be going on but uh yeah this is getting interesting and I'm just pulling for everybody I hope for the best for everybody but on the next episode it looks like some tempers are going to fly and some things that might be said. It might not be all that wonderful. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to go on and sign out. I have one more video to make because I um, got some awesome jewelry pieces. So if you want to know where I got them and also want to know what else I got, keep watching on the next video, okay? So this is Apostle Stacey Woods, and I want to remind you to watch the pop state food and I want to remind you to enjoy Jesus and all his joys and thank you for making ministry possible.